Hey everybody, glad you found the video. I was doing some computer cleaning up the other day and I ran across an old video I made on Movie Maker about when I had uh, built my uh, woodshed. And I thought you might enjoy taking a look at that. It's one of my other hobbies, building things. So, <clears throat> uh, I'll go sh put that up here for you. You can take a look at that. Um, something always makes me laugh when I watch these ancient alien shows. I love them, and I don't think we're the only ones, but I, it just kind of bugs me when, the, when I always hear them say, they couldn't have built that without the help of aliens. Well, you know, that's not giving man a lot of credit, I tell you. Because I built this whole sh uh, workshop all by myself. The only time I had any kind of help whatsoever was one time the other half held a window in for me so I could screw it in. Don't tell her, didn't need it, had it already supported, but she wanted to help. And the other time that I really had some help was when the roofing was on, as, as I will explain in the video kind of quickly, but the bottom line is at that point in time I was working as a uh, a uh, contractor and uh, I was out getting ready to leave and go train uh, some military units and I was going to be gone at least three months minimum and the weather wasn't looking too good so I needed the roof closed in and I needed sides closed in fast so I called a roofer that I knew after doing my math and figuring out how much it would cost me to do the roof minus the labor of my, me getting all the shingles and everything up there uh, tar paper uh, I decided, hey, why not let him do it? He came in, I put the roof on itself, as you will see, uh, the sheathing, 67 sheets, but he came in and knocked that roof out in three and a half hours and, and did a fine job, and that allowed me to continue to work on the siding, get the siding, and get it closed in so that when I left for mission and came back three months later, everything was good to go, no problem. Um, but, uh, yeah. Men can come up with some, some various things to make things work when it's very difficult. Trust me, I believe in them. Okay, so here you go. Take a look at the video. Hope you enjoy it. Just gives you an idea of some other hobbies that I do. And uh, uh, if you got any questions, put them down below and I'll be glad to answer them. Y'all take care. See you after the video. This little project, like I said, did it in 2011, over 11 years ago. First thing I needed to do was lay out the lines, put up my batter boards, and I was on a bit of a hill, so you'll see how tall the back batter boards are compared to the to the ones in the front, and what you string your lines off of. Got those all laid out, then I had to dig 18 holes, and I had to get them inspected in my area. They have to be inspected. Put my 6x6s six in there, fill them up with concrete, and let them harden. You can see how short they are in the back. In a second, you can see how big they are in the back. Use Pythagoras theory. Um, that's how you figure out a 90 degree angle. And I was only all a little off, just a little over a quarter of an inch, to tell you the truth on that, which is not bad for 50 feet and doing it by myself. You can see how tall the, uh, the one on the right is the actual height for the back. I came up with a way of hanging multiple 2x10s, which if you're going to put a wall up, you have to have two 2x10s on the outside rim, front, back, and sides. No big deal. Got those up. That's one way man can do it, or woman too, I guess. Uh, but like I said, code makes you have to do that. Then I started down the center section, and the idea of that, I was going to put run a center section and then run my floor joists between the outsides and the inside center section. That line keeps me at the same height and a level kept me going level because it was all the way downhill, don't forget. Then it was time to start putting in the floor joists. And these were heavy things, I tell you what, and I don't think I could afford to build this thing nowadays. Um, and a lot of wood there. Good Lord, I'd have to sell something to do that. And once I got all the choice in, 16 on center, I, I put down the subfloor. That wasn't too hard. Get it in there, get it nailed down. And uh, then it was time to uh, do the walls. And they were done in 10-foot sections since I was doing it all by myself, just about. 
I use my nail gun. However, you got to be careful with a nail gun. A nail shot through the wood and it hit my finger, went almost through my finger, and I bled a little bit and nothing a band-aid wouldn't 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 stop and uh I kept on going, kept on building. Walls continued to go up, no problem. I made sure they had plenty of supports because it was uh, me, like I said, the only one there. And I had an occasional help. This little guy came by, helped me lift lumber one day. Walls were up and it was time to start the uh, ridge beam. Now, this was uh, going to be a lot of fun because it was 50 foot, so I did it in 10 foot sections also. I strung me a line to stay straight and obviously a level to stay level and uh, put it up. I put in uh, 12 foot 2 by 6s. A lot of people will say, well, why didn't you use uh, uh, made up prefabbed uh, joists? Simply because it was too difficult to get them back there, too expensive, and I could handle these by myself. So I just did it this way. Yeah, that way it would have worked had I had more people. And I put in some supports you'll see in this picture and better in the next picture. The four supports I put up to help uh, keep that rigid and keep it solid until I could get my wind braces in and uh, they really helped make it rock steady. No problems and on each side where they, where they uh, landed on the edges there of the walls I had heavy duty hurricane tides which is required in our area so you got to keep that done. To keep the sheathing from flying back on me, the roof sheathing, I put some stops up. They worked really well. I throw sheathing up and sure enough, it comes sliding back, but it hit those stops and it would stop. Uh, I put up 67 sheets of sheathing uh, all by myself. Um, that was a lot of fun. Couldn't do it today. Just couldn't do it today. If you'll notice how wet I am in those pictures, uh, that was, I'd start early in the morning, just after the sun come up, and it was in the summertime, and within 15 minutes I was soaked. I'd drink gallons and gallons of water and never have to go to the bathroom because I was sweating it out. I was just totally sweating it out. Uh, the only time I really had some help was the other half kept bothering me. She wanted to do something, so I had her hold the windows, like I said in the opening, so that uh, she could... Uh, feel like she was doing something and I got those nailed in but being uh I was working remember as a as a contractor to uh, train the military and uh, the weather wasn't really good so once I got the roof up I did the math and I figured out I could bring a guy I knew in he could do the roof for me and it would save me a lot of time uh save my back and it would also have everything done so that I could go ahead and do my deployment and not have to worry about rain and weather so he came in and in three and a half hours he had that roof up and done and he did a great job so it was on to putting the siding on which was three quarter inch siding heavy 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 i came up with ways to make sure it stayed plumb and uh, put it in like i said lynn helped me put the windows in a little bit got those in got that done is a little view of the inside before it got cleaned up. We people and the fairies came and visited. The only time we've ever had mushrooms in the backyard. It was a little circle there just before the inspection. So we were really happy. We got the back porch done and the back light done. Uh, that was required as a rear exit in case of fire. We got both the soffits done. <clears throat> then the inspectors came out and did the final inspection and the electrical. I didn't do the electrical this time because I just didn't have the time. I could have done it, but I didn't. So all thing left to do was put my tools in and get started. Hey, well, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, it gives you an idea of uh, some of the other things I like to do. Um, needless to say, as I put in the video, there's <laughs> no way in the world I could do that today. I'm telling you, I used to be six foot and gorgeous, but this is all that's left. Uh, two by fours and two by sixes. Nah, nah, nah I'm not lifting those. Uh, I do have a project in mind though that I'm going to do and I'm get, researching where I can get all the parts. I want to build a pizza oven. I've seen those on uh, on YouTube and, and I think I want to try, try that. And, uh, and I don't mean, look too awful heavy in it. So I, I'm going to try and give that a try and I'll, I'll video it and show you how the pizza oven turned out. And it, might not happen this year. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. I'm trying to find all the parts. But uh, 
it was a lot of fun. There was one mistake I said. I said when I was doing the wind braces, I said six by sixes. They were two by sixes. I, you know, sometimes I cover my eye teeth, can't see what I'm saying. But I hope you enjoyed the video. Build yourself a tool shed one day. Maybe you'll be able to build something outside or inside while it's raining outside, okay? But I uh, had a lot of fun doing it. Couldn't do it today, but had a lot of fun doing it then. Um, joy. See you next video. Be safe now.